Hey, I'm Mo with On Point Contractors. Uh, we're headed customers out right here uh, fixing a repair. And I'm with Mr. Marquise Washington right here. If you could tell us a little about yourself, sir, just a job and everything. Okay. I am uh, I'm a Dallas resident, even though you know I'm from born in Dallas, but I live in Arlington now. And I just noticed over the last uh, few years that I had a lot of tree roots and things growing up around the house. Right. You know, I'm a photographer, well, so I'm, I'm out and I travel sometimes. Yes, sir. And I just came back one day. Sprinklers were uh, not working properly. Find out that, hey, this part of the country, uh, this part of the Metroplex was good for foundation movement, earth movement. And Especially. then found yeah. out from these guys today that a lot of the culprits are trees. So, uh, yeah. So Yeah, basically the tree roots, what he, what he was getting to is the tree roots. What they usually do is they protrude up, they suffocate the pipe sometimes, they break the pipe, they break heads. So roots really play a role into all the pressure system. And then, uh, well, how did you find this? If you don't ask, did you Google us? No, nah, you know the, the the crazy thing. Like I said, you know, I, I'm a photographer, so you would think that I would be on a lot of the social media. Right. Uh, but just yesterday, I was on Facebook. You guys had like a Facebook ad. Yeah, we have uh, a few going on that, there. That yeah, popped up. Right? Yes, sir. And um, and so this is something that I knew was you know pretty serious, and I wanted to start addressing. And so it kind of just spoke to me. I guess maybe Facebook has been a little bit in Facebook. Right? Yeah, we got <laughs> so, a little aggressive with those Facebook right. guys. Yeah, getting it out a lot there. So that's how that's how I found out about you guys. It, it, and it wasn't um, it wasn't something that uh, I really looked deeply into before. But then I, after I spoke uh, with Jorge, and he, he was just very personable, and he said that you guys were real big on customer service. Yeah, so I just wanted to give you a shot. Again, biggest thing we pride ourselves on is quality work and customer service. Those two biggest things at On Point Contractors. And yeah. then if you could describe the process to us a little bit, just how it was from start to finish, what, what's your experience about it? Like a positive experience or, or how are you thunk basically as we came in and everything? Well, I mean, I was apprehensive because um, o over the last year, I've had a lot of contractors come out, right? And, and I just have not been impressed with a lot of the contractors. And I don't know if it's because they have an abundance of work, so they, they, they don't necessarily have to be uh, as thorough uh, uh, as they would be if work was a little bit more scarce, right? So right. Uh, my, my conversation with Jorge was, uh, look, you know, I, I need to have the service done, and I'm going to be very particular about the service being done, right? So, uh, but when you guys showed up, uh, it was pretty much kind of like he said. I mean, you walked in, you assessed it, told me everything it was going to be, and then you told me exactly, you know, what to expect as far as the pricing and how that was going to be and how you guys were going to work that out. Um, and, uh, and and Sam came up and just said, hey, look, you know, this is who we are. This is what we're here to do. So there was no point that I even had an opportunity to really ask questions because you guys were thorough from the beginning all the way to the end. And I really appreciated that. And uh, the work was kind of bear out exactly what, uh, what Jorge said it was going to be. Yeah, and then what he was saying too is like we like to be literally thorough with our diagnosis because we don't want to give you the wrong thing and then we don't want to charge you for something you don't need at the end of the day. Like I told Mr. Washington too, I want to make sure by this, each step of the process I notified him, okay, this is how much it's going to be and before we even like started working, he has to approve it before we start working because he has to be okay with the price. So that's that over there. And then how did the finished product make you feel? Because we replaced the valve over here and then uh, we raised the head over here. So how did that? Uh, yeah, I mean, that was only two things that y'all did because I think I knew exactly kind of what to expect from, right. a, uh, from a functioning uh, sprinkler system because I had it right, before. Right, right, so right. I, I kind of know what that, what, what that was going to be. But what I didn't expect was kind of the, uh, the insight on other things. Like uh, even when I, when I spoke to Jorge yesterday, he was saying, all right, well, you know, it's important to have, uh, you know, to, to, to have the foliage and your grass and, you know, your landscaping. Uh, but it's, um, it, you know, it's helping with curb appeal. It's helping with oxygen. Right. It's helping with, you know, to cool your home, right. uh, you know, in the, in the, uh, in the summer. So I, I kind of understood those things, but, uh, speaking with you today and, you know, you're telling me also about the, the foundation and the roots and different things like that. Um, and I've had this house for 12 years and it's two sprinkler heads that I didn't even know they were sprinkler heads. Right. And so Mo just comes up and he says, Hey, this is what these two things are. And I've asked several people what they yeah. were. No one knew what they were, but, you knew exactly what they were. You showed me kind of how they were, told me why they were there. 
So yeah, I kind of knew what to expect initially from a functioning um, uh, irrigation system, but I wasn't expecting the education piece, and so I'm appreciative of that. Yeah, and then what I do do, he educated me a little on a bit, little bit of stuff too. I like to do the same thing, you know, kind of give give back and uh, do the same thing. And then lastly, sir, what would you say to someone who's thinking on working with our company but is on the fence about it or is unsure about it? I guess if, if you're on the fence about it, you you know, you have to look at whether or not you can afford it, right? Uh, and then uh, the other side of that can you afford not to do it, right? That's big and, too. And to be able to kind of make an educated decision about that, you, you really need to reach out. So if, if you just reach out to these guys and ask them the questions and tell them your situation, they'll be able to tell you whether or not it's a situation where you must act right now if it'll be in your best interest to act at that particular point in time. Uh, because everyone knows you know your own pocketbook, you know whether or not you can afford it or not, right? But then there's times that you may be able to forego some other things. And, you know, like for me, you know, I know that there are bills that I, I can just like say, hey, I don't need to have this anymore. Right. Right. Uh, I, I have this gym membership. I don't need it anymore. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> I, I need to still work out, but I, I don't need that gym uh, yeah. membership. But the thing that I found most interesting was being able to say, hey, listen, uh, if you're going to do this entire process, right. you might need to start here right. and take care of these things first right. uh, because this is going to help you to re your grass, to reclaim your landscaping. Uh, and, and that's what kind of helped me make the decisions because I knew what I needed to do later on, right? right. Uh, but for anyone else, I mean, we all know what we can afford. Right. But to understand uh, if you can afford not to do it, right. I think that'll help people make the decision uh, because this is something more than just a curb appeal or just an aesthetic uh, when you're talking about your landscaping uh, and a sprinkler system specifically right. uh, because I know you guys do other things you do fencing and stuff of that nature as yes, well sir. but when you're talking about uh, irrigation when you're talking about a sprinkler system yeah definitely you need to look and see if you can afford not to do it he has a point over there so what we were saying too basically I agree 100% but we started from the top again we had to address the sprinkler system he's wanted to get sod for, for uh, from us too later in the future so we wanted to make sure that before we can get the sod everything is prepped and ready to go so when the sod comes in he doesn't have to deal with any hiccups he doesn't have to deal with any obstacles because right now the obstacles that we saw was little parts of the sprinkler system need to be adjusted fixed and the trees need to be before we even get the sod out here. So th those need to be taken care of before we do that, just so he can be running smooth versus having more obstacles in his course. But no, I think, thank you for the interview again, sir. And then yeah, uh, uh, we look forward to doing more business for you, sir. Yeah, I thank do too. You. Thanks a lot. Thank you, Appreciate sir. it.